If you have any 3D data as part of your project, either a point cloud or a 3D model, to view that you want to jump into 3D overview mode, which you'll find on the lower left hand side of your screen. So you'll see that's now showing as blue and we are in our 3D view. So you can see the point cloud. So a couple of things have changed on here. We've got some additional um, tool options up at the top here and you'll see it's highlighting point cloud as being active. If you have a model and you select a 3D model, you'll see that as well. And if you want to see the model and the point cloud overlaid, you can see that right at the bottom down here. You can see the point cloud is overlaid on the floor of the model. So I'm going to go back to the point cloud view for now and we're going to look at the different navigation options that you have. First off, if you have a mouse with a wheel, you can just scroll in and out to change your zoom and to, to fly through the points this way. If you choose your left mouse button, you can rotate around. If you use your right mouse button, you can pan back and forward, right and left. And if you move your um, mouse back and forward, you can kind of move with like a sort of a camera dolly view, more like a walk, a walk mode. If you want to get into a specific area, you can just choose your W key to move forward, S to move back, D to move left, A to move right, Q for up, and E for down. So it's basically your gaming keys that you're going to be working with. If you want to just fly and zoom to an area, just simply double click a point in the point cloud and you'll fly to that area. Now you'll see you've activated this little node point that you can see in the middle. Um, just using the, the, the different keys that I've shown you, I'm going to use my hold my wheel mouse down and I'm going to just drag myself into the point cloud. And once I'm in here, I can just rotate around that little node point that you can see right here. And then by using my W key, I'm basically going to fly to that point. So just by sort of moving around and, and rotating my, my um, mouse and hitting my W on the keyboard, I can get around this point cloud fairly quickly. If you want to change the direction, just sort of stop in front of where you want to go. I'm just going to take a look right here. And then you can rotate your view and then just continue on and change that direction. So navigation's not too bad. Um, take a little bit of practice, but um, it's, once you get used to it, it's pretty fluid.